Um, we're at Angie's Bar and Grill in uh, Marshall, Missouri. I'm here with J.C. Lester. He's a local farmer. Uh, and J.C., thank you for your time. Yes, and, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you for coming. Uh, no problem. And it, it's a nice sunny day today, but um, from our travels, there's been a lot of rain, hasn't oh, there? Yes, sir. A lot of rain, a lot of rain. We've had from, oh, heck, May to now it's rained. You know, you're getting rain almost every day, it seems like. Wow. So, it's not just affecting the row crop farmers, it's affecting your hay farmers as well. It's, okay. it's putting everybody behind. Right. Now, uh, I've seen some uh, farmers uh, getting out there spraying, and I see the odd one probably putting in those last minute beans. Is, is that what's happening here? Yes, sir. That's exactly what's happening. Everybody's rushing and trying to get what they can done. It's um, We're getting to that time of year where it's almost a waste of time to even be right. in the field. So. Right. It's it's just been a real struggle. When you're in the field, you're fighting you're fighting the mud, and when you're if you're not in the field, you're not making yeah. any money. So it's um it's been a real struggle this year. For so sure. are you are you uh, you all planted, or do you still no, got? No, sir. We're um we're still about a hundred acres shy of being done, and okay. that's a hundred acres we might have, may not even get in the ground. And that's beans. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. And okay. we've lost we've lost twenty percent of our corn crop already. Our Why is that? Down. Oh, just yes, sir. From well, wind. The corn crop right now it's been so been so wet. They're obviously not having to dig down for water, so the root system's just right there on Sitting top of the ground. Any yeah. kind of wind just laying it down. And like I said, we've lost 20% of ours due to wind and no right. root system. Right. And in this area, it sounds like you're having a tough time planting those beans. You, do you know, in general, is it 70% planted, 80? Everybody's kind of, it kind of differs. It kind of, it kind of depends on where you are. Like you get about 20 miles up the road, you start getting in some river bottom. And there's, like I was telling, Kristen, earlier, there's there's 200 acre bean fields that haven't been touched because you yeah. just they're been underwater all season. Right. So right. it's um and around here, like kind of where where our fields are, are pretty high. So I mean, yep. we've we've been lucky and been able to get a lot right. planted, but still, I mean, we're, like I said, 100 acres shy being done. Right. Now, prevent plant insurance dates are tomorrow, correct? June, yes, sir. June 30th. Okay, so we're um I left on last Wednesday. I left and. Like I said, we were 100 acres shy, and we were on the fence on whether we were going to do that or not. Right. So the corn uh, coming down this area looks awesome. Oh, the corn's great. Uh, you know, it's even. It's it's some of the best corn I've seen, and I've been through Ohio, Indiana, Illinois. It's even. It's lush. It's tasseled. It's got some mature, well, further ahead ears than I've seen to date. So that must have been planted early. Yes, sir. Um, and you know, you say the corn's great, but it's not what it could be either. Okay. We've had a lot of. <clears throat> Excuse me. We've had a lot of cool weather as well. Okay. When you're when you're having a lot of rain, a lot of cool weather, it's yep. been hard for that corn to grow. We're just now getting into where we've been having okay. warm enough weather and, and good enough weather for the corn to really start growing. So there's no telling where we could be at with our corn right, right. now. Had weather cooperating. Right. Right. Well, thank you for your time. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Yeah. No problem. Yes, sir.